Check this out guys, 120 different Jurassic World dinosaurs, some are new ones, I'm gonna show you guys like Nanmu Studio figures, the latest Jurassic World figures as well as the older ones, so let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Check this out guys, I've clipped the entire row of 2015 Jurassic World dinosaurs as well as some Nanmu Studio figures. I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of Imagine Next Jurassic World figures as well. It's all right here on the floor, so let's begin guys. It's gonna be exciting. Alright guys, so let's begin the video by unboxing this new Dimetrodon from Imagine Next. Okay, so let's get this out of the box. So this is basically a new figure that we have just, you know, purchased. And I'm pretty excited to be adding this into our collection very soon. Yep, so this will be placed in the Monster Island room. So what do we have right here? We have a beautiful Dimetrodon. What does this button do? Let me try. I don't think it's working, as you guys can see. Uh, let's try. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, maybe, oh, I think we have to like push the sail down and you press it. The sail will just spring right up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I thought, you know, this button will basically like move uh, the jaw, but no. Okay, very nice. Okay, next up, in the previous video, I think that many of you guys actually asked me whether I can do more of this. This is basically like a transforming egg. It's a very cute little figure. So we got this like many years back. So it is basically a packy cephalosaurus as you guys can see. Yep. So what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of um, Imagine Next dinosaurs. And this is another one of it. This is a new pyroraptor as you guys can see. Really colorful, really love this. Okay, before we actually proceed to our next figures, let's open this back up. I don't think many of you guys have seen this before because this is a pack of 2015 mini dinosaurs from the very first Jurassic World movie. So it is almost like eight years and probably these figures are older than some of you guys. We'll take a look at some figures first. First, we have a Stegosaurus. I'm just gonna put the Stegosaurus right over here. Um, let's pick another one. What is this? Oh, this is actually not from Jurassic World. This is actually a Safari LTD um, Brachiosaurus, baby Brachiosaurus. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, this is a nice one, Mosasaurus. Okay, and let's proceed to other figures. So right here, okay, today, okay, maybe tomorrow, I'll be starting our repaint of a new Mosasaurus. This is a repaint of a level 40 Mosasaurus um, that was done, I think about one year back. Yep, one or two years back. We'll be repainting another one. I'm thinking of repainting it to um, a whale, which was found in Avatar. Okay, and have a look at this. This is basically a Stegosaurus from Nanmu Studio. Really nice one. Okay, next item. Let's open this. Shall we open this first? No. Let's have let's, let's have a look at this one first. Gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex is kind of like dusty. We need to clean this up. But this is actually a super colossal Tyrannosaurus Rex that we have repainted on our own. And we call this the Jungle. T-Rex. Yeah, really nice one. And Mrs. Dan actually helped me to paint the eyes. It's a simple paint scheme, but I really like it. I want you guys to let me know down below whether you guys like it as well, okay? Let's move on to our next figure. How about this one? Have you guys seen this? This is basically the Trek and Attack Indoraptor. Very nice. So, it actually has light, so let me just switch off the spotlights. You're able to see the the eyes glowing. Very nice. And um, where is the other button? I think there are... Is, is there only one button? I can't remember. Yeah, there's another button right here. No, this is a... This is basically the code for you guys to scan. Yeah. Nice little Indoraptor. Okay, let's transform another rig before we take a look this one so this is a it's not a dinosaur so basically you know you can find different animals from this eggs which I feel is quite cool 
so hopefully we'll be able to get more of this because I know that you guys actually love them so much so yeah this is basically like a transforming egg all right um let's open this up I think this will take us quite some time but we just have to like open this really really carefully it's kind of like super messy as well this is a no egg so uh, we are still waiting for the new addition, the new series, the new wave to arrive. They will arrive really soon. There is actually like a 30th anniversary Jurassic Park X that will be out really soon. So I'm, uh, let me just open this. It's super slimy as you guys can see. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors to like cut this open. I'm just going to cut the top of it. Yeah, we have to actually cut like um, the um, little leaflet as well, but I think it's fine. Let's see what we've got this time. You can see, oh, we've got blue. Okay, let me get get this out. We've had the we have the tail and the body of blue, but the head is actually inside. So let's get it out as well. So there you go. Very nice. Let me just clean my hands for a while. Okay. Let me pop in the head. Okay. I'm gonna clean my hands. You can see it's super slimy. This slime is like super, super sticky. The newer versions are way better because the slime is actually packed separately with the figure. So you can see this is basically blue. Very nice. And it comes with a little card right here. Basically, blue is a very, very intelligent dinosaur intelligence of 10 and a killer rating of 8 super super awesome okay i'm gonna put this aside first and let's carry on with our remaining figures i think let's have a look at all the different eggs first because i know that you guys just love them are you able to like guess what this is are you guys able to guess i mean if you take a look at the feet or the legs it doesn't have any sickle shaped claw but if you move the head up it looks like a raptor so it's probably a raptor I'm not exactly sure but it could be a raptor oops one of the arm, arms came off let's just pop it right back all right let's move on okay have you guys seen this before how many of you guys have seen this before it is actually a carno raptor you can see it has the sickle claw of a raptor and the horns of a carnotaurus can actually move this it's a 2015 um, Jurassic World figure so I'm gonna put all of them right here this one is one figure that I've placed in um, the Monster Island room okay I don't think the sounds are working yeah it's like a Dilophosaurus as you guys can see a pretty cute one how do you actually open the jaw let's try I think you're supposed to like move the arms or move the legs Oh, maybe the tail. Yeah, the tail. Yeah, we have to change the batteries for this. Okay, let's move on. So just now, I've actually shown you guys the Pyroraptor. And guess what? This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It does look a little bit like a raptor, to be honest. Okay, moving on. Let's have a look at more Nanmu Studio figures. This is actually from the brand Nanmu Studio. We have a Spinosaurus right here. And they are actually releasing a Giganotosaurus really soon. In some countries, the figure is already on sale. I've ordered mine and I'm hoping to get it really soon. Really love the figures. Here, we have a prehistoric marine reptile, Mosasaurus. It's a really, really beautiful figure. Okay, I love this. Um, I need to clean this up. It's kind of like dusty and stuff. And speaking of marine creature, I think we have one Okay, it is not exactly a marine creature. It is a semi-aquatic dinosaur. Okay, it's a not, not a dinosaur. Semi-aquatic um, prehistoric animal. Nothosaurus. Really beautiful. Love this. Okay, let me just try to find whether there are more eggs inside. I think probably so. Okay, but first let's pick up another minifigure and see what we can get, okay? What about this? Wow, it's a nice Dimorphodon. How many of you guys actually think we should be displaying all these figures in our mini shops? 
Let me know down below. But to be honest, we are running out of um shelves. Okay, let's move on. Another prehistoric marine creature is right here. This is a Le Leoplurudon. Okay, Leoplurudon. Not the latest one because we do have another one right over there, which I'm going to show you guys in a while. This is a blue figure. Um, sounds are not working, unfortunately. I'm going to put this one right here. This one should be working. This is a pretty new figure. Okay, it is a Gigar. Yes, a Gigar from Imagine Next, and it comes with sounds and lights. Check this out. The eyes will actually light up, and it comes with different walls, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's have a look at this Apatosaurus. Okay, we do have a, a, an Apatosaurus from Mattel, which is the Super Colossal Apatosaurus. Let's have a look at another minifigure. Wow, this time we have a um, brown Stegosaurus. Let's choose another surprise one, surprise figure. Let's see what we can get th this time. Triceratops. Pretty cool. Triceratops is built like a tank. And speaking of dinosaurs that are built like a tank, we have this, which is the Ankylosaurus. Super heavily armored dinosaur with spikes, with armor. Yep, this is from Nanmu Studio as well. I'm basically showing you guys part of my Nanmu Studio collection. Here we have the Indoraptor from Imagine Next. No sounds. And it comes with this button that triggers the arm. You can open and close the jaw on your road. Very nice little figure. The Oh, we do have another one here. Nice. So let's transform this. Are you guys able to guess like what this is easily? Easily, yeah. I mean, more more hints right here. For all spikes at the end of the tail, which is known as the Stegomizer. Yeah, it's basically the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is a herbivore. The plates are basically used to emit heat from the body, to diffuse heat from the body, um, or they could serve as a, you know, sort of like a static purpose to attract female, to attract the opposite gender. And here is um, a white Indoraptor figure from Nanmu Studio. It is not known as an Indoraptor. I mean, they don't have the license to create like Jurassic World figures and they name it the Berserker Rex. Kind of a cool name. Next, Herbivorous Dinosaur. We have a Sinoceratops, which is known as the Chinese Horn Face. This figure is kind of like dusty. I need to clean this up as well. Really beautiful figure. You are able to move the head which is nice. Okay, let's move on. Another hybrid dinosaur, guys. This hybrid dinosaur is known as a Stegoceratops, if I'm not wrong. And I feel it is part Stegosaurus and part Nasudoceratops. I don't think it's part Triceratops because these two horns look more like the horns of a Nasudoceratops. Right. We have a baby Brumpy here, super adorable. Let's try to guess more dinosaurs. I'm, okay, I'm, okay, the next figure which I'm taking out, I think it's a Stegosaurus. I'm trying to feel it. Yes, it is clearly a, a I mean, an Ankylosaurus. Very nice. No, I, I love this. Let's try to guess another figure. How about this one? This one, it has a crest, it is a Triceratops. Wow, so just now I've shown you guys like the green one and this is a grey one. Let me guess another one. I think it's pretty easy. It's really easy to like feel it and guess what it is. This one is probably something harder. It feels like a theropod. Um, I think it's a raptor. Oh no, it's actually an Allosaurus. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so what do we have right here? We have a Triceratops, and you can see it has a missing horn right here. The horn is um, probably inside the box, so we'll pick it up and put it right back later on. Just give me 
um, a few moments. Let's get every single figure out. This is the Conotaurus, and this is inspired by Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Conotaurus. Nice little figure. Let's have a look at this. This is from 2015. It's supposed to have thousand lights, but it's no longer working. Even though I've tried to replace the batteries. Oh, this one. Okay, let me just slowly get this one out. It's this is a really beautiful figure. I love this quite a lot. It looks very very similar to the previous Stegoceratops. Basically, you know, maybe with a different paint scheme. Yeah, this is. I feel they are very different. This one looks more like a Triceratops. So if you guys know like what are the differences between these two, are they like one is part a Pseudoceratops and one is part Triceratops? If you guys know, let me know down below in the comments, okay? Let me know. Okay, we have the Nanmu Studio Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have two different ones. One is a brown version, which is the one that you're looking at right now. The other one is actually a red version, which is actually at level 1 gallery. Okay, so what else we've got? Paris Rollerfish. Okay, to be honest, this is a very nice figure, but there's one huge issue with this figure. It can't stand. It can't stand at all. So, yeah, even though it has a platform to put it in, it may still like collapse, it may still fall. Here's another one. Another Stegoceratops, a brown version, so you can see we have like three, three different versions right here. This one is definitely the coolest. This is probably like a maxed up, maxed up as in, um, you know, all the levels are maxed up, maximum level. Uh, yeah. This is a Styracosaurus from um, Imagine Next. Quite a cute one. Okay, this figure, these figures are pretty big, I would say. Okay, time for us to do more guessing. Okay, this one um, feels like a theropod. It feels like the Allosaurus as well. Yeah, the same figure, Allosaurus. Let's choose another one. This one seems to be a different one. Uh, I'm gonna go with a um, T-Rex. Oh, it's a Spinosaurus. Oh, this one actually looks really good. It also comes with some metallic paint on the top. So I really like this one. So maybe this one we can consider displaying it in the mini shelf. Let's choose one last one. It's um it's either a Dimorphodon or a Tyrannodon. Dimorphodon. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, some of the latest figures, which I feel majority of you guys have seen them already. Raw Attack Diablo Ceratops. Diablo Ceratops is known as the Davros Horned Face. Um, it's basically a Ceratops shirt, as you guys can see. Really nice little figure. Okay, one of the very first Nanmu Studio figures, the Indominus Rex. But you can see it is clearly lacking some spikes. But still, this is still a really, really fantastic figure. Okay, a uh, small little blue right here. Okay, you can probably like clean this one up as well. Therizinosaurus, part of our Imagine Next collection. Okay, Let's see what else we've got. Mosasaurus. Okay, this is from 2015. It is basically like the battle damage um, figure, but this little window right here, it's really, really tough to um, close. I think my figure is kind of like faulty. Imagine next Stegosaurus. This one is not a button, it's more like a little knot for you to twist a thing. Let's try. Yeah, you can twist this and the tail will just swing along. Very cool. Okay, the next figure, we have two identical Pachycephalosaurus. So Pachycephalosaurus can see it has this really really thick skull. I think it's like a few inches thick and the bones are actually connected to the neck so they can withstand very very great impact on the head which is awesome. So they can use it like a defensive weapon or they can use it as a weapon against 
I mean, yeah, more like a defensive weapon. Here it's a uh, battle damaged Tyranodon. I like this figure. Yeah, I, I actually prefer my figures without the sounds. And here it's the um, Ankylosaurus. Nice. This is really cute. You can actually put like a figure on top of the, um, the body and spin it and the tail will just swing. I mean, not, not just the tail, the entire body will swing. Okay, let's make a guess. So we have a Mosasaurus. Let's make another guess. Um, this, this is Spinosaurus for sure. One guess. Um, trying to feel it. This is probably a T-Rex. Oh, it's a Raptor. Nice. Let's try another one. This is definitely a Mosasaurus. Yeah, easy. Speaking of Mosasaurus, we have one right here. All right. Right, let's continue. So the next one is actually a Mosasaurus. And speaking of Mosasaurus, I've told you guys that we are planning to repaint a Mosasaurus at the same time. I'm waiting for a new Gujitsu Mosasaurus to arrive. Are you guys able to see you know, the Gujitsu figures right here? So there is actually a Mosasaurus version coming out really soon, which I'm super excited about. I've placed an order. It should arrive probably in about um, a week or two. So I'm very, very excited to be sharing with you guys really, really soon. So, all right. So let's have a look at other Imagine Next figure. Are you guys able to guess what this is? It's not easy. This looks like a Gigar. And yeah, it is a Gigar. And this is a Dilophosaurus. These two are basically new Jurassic World Dominion figures. This is a, a T-Rex. And this is the um, Apatosaurus. This is not from the Dominion movie. It is from Camp Cretaceous um, series. Okay, so today we actually had this. I mean, this is our latest figure in our collection, entire collection, latest edition. Right here, I've actually brought all the Dimetrodons from Jurassic World Dominion. So we can actually do like a comparison. This is also from Jurassic World Dominion, if you, you guys are not sure. So you can see this is the Imagine Next. It has ju the Jurassic World Dominion logo. So yeah, we have a couple of um, Dimetrodons. One question for you guys. Where were the Dimetrodons found in the movie? Okay, make a guess. I'll give you a few options. One, it was found at the Biosyn lab. The other one, they're found maybe in the mountains. And the last option is the Amber Cave. Are you guys able to make a guess? Let me know down below. So um, this is a raptor, I think. Okay. And this, it's the Chronosaurus. Raw attack Chronosaurus. Right. This is the Nanmu Studio Gigar. This was actually released before the movie, so you can see the sculpt looks kind of weird. It doesn't really look like, you know, the Gigar from the movie. But the latest one that they will be releasing soon will look very much like the one in the movie. And here is an Ankylosaurus. This one, it's um, you can see I, I like this figure because it has some really nice metallic paint right here. And this, it's a um, what is what do you call it? Sino Tyrannus. Okay, all right. Um, this is a 2015 Velociraptor. I think this, it's okay. I want to make a guess first, I'm gonna leave it right here. It, it is either Delta or Echo, I think so. So this is a Ceratosaurus. The batteries, why is it not working? I thought I've changed the batteries previously. So Ceratosaurus is known as the Haunt Lizard. I think many of you guys should know it. And here, uh, we have a Conotaurus Toro. It has a scar right here. This, it's more like a generic Conotaurus. Wow. I didn't know we still have so many eggs right here guys, so what is this? Make a guess. Easy. Tiny little arms usually mean, you know, T-Rex. Um, I mean, it could also mean Conotaurus. This is a sauropod. Brachiosaurus. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Let's move on to Dryptosaurus. Oh my goodness, I have forgotten what the name actually means. Dryptosaurus. I know it is related to a Tyrannosaur, but I can't remember what is the meaning of its name. So if you know, let me know, okay? Couple of mini chompers from 2015. They are not, I mean, they are not like the best figures, and this is the Allosaurus. Okay. Oh, here's a missing horn, guys. So, where is our Triceratops from Nanmu? Where is it? Oh, it's right here, guys. It's right here. So, let's place, let's fix up this poor Triceratops that has lost its horn. One horn is fixed right back. So, yeah, you can actually remove this and stick it with a broken horn. They actually come with another option with the one of the horn. Um, like half broken, which is kind of cool. Dimorphodon, wow, still working, awesome, really awesome. Allosaurus from Imagine Next, quite a nice figure, small little, medium sized figure, I would say. This is also pretty new. Um, I think this it's it looks like it's a Dracorex. No, this is the Dracorex. This is the Dracorex. This. It's probably another Dracorax. <laughs> Baby Dracorax. If this one was one of the latest one, um, it's a Pyroraptor the capture gear. Very, very cool. I love how this um, harness or the capture gear actually springs right open the moment you press this button right here. Very cool. Oh yes, this one. Guys, what is this? Is this like a sauropelt? No, it's not a sauropelt, sir. I know there is a name. I can't remember the name of this. It's not an ankylosaurus. It's not a sauropelt, sir. Is yeah, I just can't remember what this is. So if you guys know, note, let me know down below in the comment section. But put the timestamp and let me know. You know, this transforming egg is actually. I'm not too sure. Let me know the name, okay? The T-Rex, mini chomper. Mini Chomper, Spinosaurus. I think this is a hybrid version, which is a very nice one. Uh, this Dilophosaurus is not working. Okay, we need to change the batteries like later on and let's see how it goes. Alright, trying to get hold of this. This is also a pretty new addition. Eel Kakaria, which is um, one of the um, Kakaru Dontosaur. It's related to a Kakaru Dontosaurus. Um, this is a Tanny Strophius. I'm, I'm not too sure whether this is this can be considered a marine reptile. Not too, I'm not very sure. This one is Charlie. Charlie for sure. 100 percent This is Charlie. And this is blue. Okay. So we've got this and this. I feel this is Delta and this is Echo. It's really hard to differentiate, um, you know, the colors. And um, here's a baby Therizinosaurus. This is blue. Oh, oh, is this Beta? This is a pretty. This is not from Jurassic World Dominion. Probably from um, Jurassic World. It's a Tyrannodon. Mega Raptor. Sound Strike. No, 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 raw strike this, not sound strike. If this one is a Triceratops, you can easily transform this. Yeah, these figures are really fun. I mean, if there are like official Jurassic World transforming eggs like this, I think that will be really, really awesome. This one, it's a uh, uh, Velociraptor. And uh, Spinosaurus. This is the Dimetrodon and um, Raptor. Pteranodon. Okay. And um, here we have a baby Bumpy. I think we are just left with um, a couple more. Yeah, this is like a mini chomp chomping kind of. Um, how do you do this? 
to really work. Yeah, it's very cute, I would say. Can move the neck. And here's another chomp chomper. Chomping T-Rex. And our last one. It's a chomping Spinosaurus. Okay, very, very nice. All right, thanks for watching this, guys. Um, yeah, so basically our latest figure is the Dunmetrodon. Uh, where is the Dunmetrodon? It's somewhere like right over here, you can see. There's a huge mess, so we need to clean this up and pack them all back into the shelf. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Oh my goodness, we still haven't finished this, so let's get the remaining one out. Remaining one um, out. This is a T-Rex. We have a Stegosaurus here. And I think we are left with just maybe three more figures. Pteranodon. And not a Pteranodon. And our last, very last figure of the day. Oh, this is nice. A Pachycephalosaurus. I don't think I've seen this before. I mean, I, I probably had, but I just can't remember. But this is a very nice figure. So thanks for watching this. Um, next week, I think you might be able to catch a glimpse of our repainted Mosasaurus, probably. And I will probably do like a Mosasaurus collection uh, video for you guys as well, okay? So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys... Um, uh, I have a question for you guys. Should I put the making of the repaint at the beginning of the video or do you guys want to watch it like at the end? Let me know down below, okay? Thanks for watching this. 